ever looked at the Brooklyn Bridge and wondered, how did they pull that off? Let's find out. Back in the 1800s, New York City and Brooklyn were separated by the wild, unpredictable East River. Ferries were slow and crossing during winter? Forget about it. Enter John Roebling, a genius engineer with a vision so daring everyone thought he was dreaming. Suspension bridges were risky business back then. Most collapsed under pressure. But Roebling didn't back down. He designed a revolutionary hybrid cable system, mixing strength and flexibility in ways no one had seen before. And get this, the Brooklyn Bridge was the longest suspension bridge in the world when it opened in 1883. Building it wasn't easy. Workers dug deep under the river in dangerous pressurized chambers. Some even got sick from the mysterious caisson disease. Roebling himself was injured and tragically passed away before it was finished. His son, Washington Roebling, took over, giving orders from his apartment window while battling illness. But the dream never died. After 14 years of sweat, setbacks, and pure determination, the Brooklyn Bridge finally stretched across the skyline, connecting people, ideas, and opportunities. Today, it's more than just a bridge. It's a symbol of innovation and courage, a reminder that with vision and grit, you really can change the world. Next time you see that beautiful stone arch, think about the minds and hands that made the impossible possible.